Karish Mira is owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Uh, so we just finished up Rick's bike. We ended up going in NVS Audio Stage 6. Um, bike came in with a really nice audio setup in it. Um, had the Soundstream SI radio, had the Hertz uh, 4.900 amplifier, Hertz 6 nafs in the fairing, Hertz 6 nafs in the lowers, and Hertz 6 mines in the lids. It just, he wanted to squeeze a little more performance out of it, wanted a lot more bass out of it. So we ended up uh, keeping the radio, adding an HK Mini DSP, NVS Audio T harness. We upgraded the fairing speakers to Cicada CHX uh, 6.5s, upgraded the lowers to CHX 6.5s, and upgraded the six spines in the lid to the Cicada 6.9.4 spines. We ran a 1200.4 bridge on the lids, 800.4 in stereo with two ohm speakers on channel one, two, and two ohm speakers on channel three and four. We ran a 3000.1 in the tour pack, running a pair of Cicada 10 inch mid bass drivers in sealed imported bags that we did here in the shop. Um, gave the bike a tune, sounds phenomenal. He's super happy the way it turned out. We're super happy the way it turned out. Um, so every speaker in the bike is weatherproof, so he doesn't know. Uh, not that this bike will ever get caught in the rain. This bike is beautiful with a full custom paint job on it. But if he does get caught in the rain, doesn't have to worry about it. All the speakers are weatherproof. The problem with running the CHX series, everybody calls about the CHX. Everybody wants to run the CHX. What people don't realize is these speakers require a lot of power. So he insisted on the CHXs, so we went with it. But um, he also agreed to upgrade the amplifiers, 1200.4 to run the lids bridged, and uh, 800.4 in stereo, running the two ohm drivers in the front. So the front drivers are a little light on power. They're getting 200 watts a piece, which is fine because we have four drivers in the front. On the lids where we set a ton of the power, the six mine has a larger voice coil and more cone area. So they were able to make use of the 1200 watts that the bridge 1200.4 could provide. We tuned it to a little bit under 1200 watts to make it match everything else. But um, the bike sounds nice and balanced. Everything's weatherproof. Everybody wants to buy these speakers, but they want to underpower them, which doesn't make sense. In order to make these speakers shine, you have to send two, three, four hundred watts to each driver, or else you're not going to be able to get the speaker to play loud enough to have it outperform a CH. So, great speaker. Just make sure you have enough power to run it. Ricky has enough power to run it, and his bike sounds phenomenal. And, of course, we have to upgrade the battery to a lithium. Check it out. So, this bike has a complete Hertz plug-and-play setup. Client wants to go bigger and louder, so we are upgrading to Cicada CHX. Fairing, lowers, six mines in the lids, tens in the bag, sealed and ported. It's gonna be a pretty big upgrade. We need more power, so the amplifier is being upgraded to sound digital. You're gonna run a 1200 four, 800 four, and a 3,000.1. 3,000 gonna go in the tour pack, the other two are gonna go up here. Really, really good setup in here. He just wants louder and more bass. Mm -hmm.
Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So are you completely happy with the way your bike sounds now? Absolutely. <laughs> one shot, one kill. It sounded exactly the way I promised. Thank you. Have a great day.